Good morning, you guys. I am about to head down to my art studio and get to work on some things. I'm actually not just painting canvases today. I am painting a countertop. I've been trying to get my art studio looking good. It's I used to paint out of my dining room, and so it's just now coming together. I'm trying to make it inspirational and pretty, and it's just looked pretty blah for a while. So I'm already got my gloves on, got me some water to drink while I'm down there, but um, heading that way. So if you can see behind me too, I've been hanging a lot of my artwork in the staircase leading down to my art studio. So I'm gonna show you some of that real quick. The lighting isn't really the best, but that is a little lamb painting that I did. Here's that cactus painting that I showed you in one of my videos. And then I've got some coral flowers. Oh, it's got a little bit of a glare, but this is an art print that I framed. I love her. Um, a ballerina painting that I've done. Here is a teepee. I love this one right here too. I showed you guys this red floral. Heading down a little bit. This was one of my first Bohemian Princesses. I love her. This is a canvas print version of the one I just showed you that was framed. It was a paper print. Here's a dog. This is a canvas print. A little pine tree original. I've got this horse original right here. This floral arrangement and a white pumpkin this church. I'm going to try to step back so you guys can see it a little bit better. How I've got everything just going down the staircase. So I'm going to show you the other side. All right, so this is the other side of my staircase going down. I've got a small version of that red floral. I really love that painting, so I did a smaller one. I've got this little floral I think it's like a four by four. I've got this pink floral four by four. Those are both originals. All of these are originals right here. And then this redhead Bohemian princess, she's an original. I've got some pink flowers, a barn, this little groovy girl, um, a thankful pumpkin. This is done on a wood canvas. So all of these are originals. And then this is a print version on canvas at my amazing Grace Church. Then heading down the stairs, I've got that barn. That was actually one of my very first paintings ever. And I've kept it just because it kind of reminds me of where I've come. But this is a barn painting that I've done. A little boy. This is actually a picture of my son. It was a portrait I did of him. And then over here, I've got a portrait of my daughter. So they match. This right here is not my artwork. It's beautiful, but it's not mine. But I keep it because I love it. This is Home of Yesteryear is what I've named this piece right here. Let me step back some. I've got my windmill painting. There's that barn. It's a paper print in this frame right here. That's an 8x10 print. That's my red barn print, paper print. I think it's a 16x20 maybe. I can't remember. Um, that flamingo is a canvas print. You see like that was gold detail on that one. Love it. This was a, um, a wedding portrait painting that I did. This is a bunny, a little boho bunny. It's actually an original, but I just have it framed. It's in like a canvas panel. There's a larger version of my Amazing Grace Church. I sell a lot of those, so I have several prints available. Um, that's an eight by 10 print of my red floral, a little five by seven of that dog with the ukulele. This is my Santa Claus that I did this season. His face reminds me of my dad. My dad passed away, but it has his eyes. This is a print canvas version. 
So I just showed you guys my entire basement um, staircase going down to my art studio. And I've got some more things that I'm gonna hang, but I need to turn on some lights because it's pretty dark down here. All right, so, oh, let me show you my staircase. Check out the fabric. That's just 100% woven cotton, like quilting fabric. And I cut it into strips and used Mod Podge to put it on. So they can come off pretty easily if I want them to, but I have no desire because I love it. But isn't it pretty? So love it. I love color, can you tell? But I'm gonna give you just like a little quick tour. So this is my little nook. It's like my little craft nook right here. You can see I've got my lamps on the floor because I'm working on that other tabletop that I'm gonna be painting today. But I've got yarn up top, I've got some of my paintings, some pencils, scissors, you know, lots of paint brushes and all that kind of stuff. This is where I do my tabletop painting. These right here are just little vinyl like placemats that I got to cover the wood so I don't get paint all over the wood because I can wash these off like I do my um, my paint palette. So, but I've got all of my paint in this rolling cart right here. You see all that? It's all my paint. And well, I've got more down here. So that's where I keep all of my paint. These cabinets were just a natural wood color. So I painted them this pretty rose pink color, as you can see. And this is the tabletop that I am about to paint. I've already painted it white because it was an old door. So you can see like the hinges right here, where the hinges used to be right here. Um, so I'm gonna be working with this and painting it so I don't have to buy an actual tabletop. I'm sure it's gonna end up getting paint all over it anyways, but I got, I need to turn on my studio lights. Do you see my lights that I use right here? Yeah, those are my studio lights. So, woo! All right, so this is tin, like big sheets of metal tin that I got at a show. I got it at um, Vintage Market Days. They travel all over the Southeast and I purchased those there. I love them. And so it's gonna kind of be like my backsplash because the lighting fixtures that I need to turn on, let me turn them on. All right guys, so the lighting fixtures that I bought are these Edison bulb type lights. And so I have them all just hanging down in this area, like towards the back of the wall. And so the cords are running up top, but then they are plugging into the wall down low, down underneath here. So I ran those cords behind my tin, metal tin backsplash, so that way you don't see it. Anyways, I love my lights, I love my tin, I love the pink. I think it's really pretty. I'm working on this painting right now. Um, you'll see a video up of that really soon. But up top, I just have put all of these crates and baskets right now, and I'm sure they'll get filled with all kinds of junk here soon. I have some of my art prints out now. These are my 11 by 14 art prints, like that's my snowman. I've got some that are already in mats and some right there. So those are all displayed. And then this is the table that I use when I'm painting, but it's kind of covered with junk right now because I'm trying to get things cleaned up and resituated and organized. But we've got this piano that my sister gave us. Right now I have a lot of my art just displayed on it. I'm eventually going to paint the piano. I'm not sure what color yet or how I want to do that, but um, for now, I'm just leaving it alone. I have more art prints sitting on the piano bench. Those are like my smaller art prints. And you can see my barn right here. 
got some other artwork sitting on the floor. This area that I'm about to take you to that you see behind me, this is like just the chill hangout spot. I'm trying to get it all situated where I can actually have people over to view my artwork because not everything's on Etsy, not everything is online, on Instagram, whatever, and so local people want to see everything that I have and if I'm not going to be doing any art shows in the future, then it makes it hard. So anyways, this is my little hangout living room spot. I got the rug at rugsusa.com. I pulled it out of our master bedroom and brought it down here because I needed a rug and thought it would be perfect with everything else. So this is our couch. I just covered it with some fur um, fabric. Actually, I had this, I still have my gloves on because I was gonna get painting, but I ended up deciding to give you a tour. But um, this fur, I had a clothing business, a children's clothing line that I shut down a couple years ago and I kept all of my fur from where I had designed some fur coats and stuff. But anyways, I love this fabric, so I just draped it over, tucked it in because it's a nice couch. It's a sleeper sofa, so it's like that microfiber fabric, but I love the bohemian feel and I love the fur, so it protects with all my kids and it is pretty. So I just hung these dusty rose pink curtains. They actually aren't curtains, they're tablecloths. <laughs> but I love them and I got them at Bed Bath & Beyond. I ended up getting four because I have another window right here. I haven't opened the blinds yet on this window. And so it gave me the height that I wanted for my curtains to have and everything, so I love it. It's, they're perfect. So I got four of those tablecloths, turned them into curtains from Bed Bath & Beyond, used coupons, got a good deal. So what else, what else can I show you? So this coffee table right here, I found it at a garage sale and I got an exceptional deal. Like I think I might've paid 10 bucks for it and it's made out of pallet wood and it has casters on it and I didn't do anything to it. I brought it home and put it in here and I love it. So that is my coffee table. And then behind me, these chairs, I got these chairs right here at an estate sale. And there was all kinds of really awesome old furniture at this sale. And it's like no one's ever even sat in them. You know how people like elderly people will cover their furniture with like that clear plastic and stuff to keep it nice. I think that's what happened here because they're in perfect condition and they're super old. But anyways, I love them. I might end up painting the wood like a um, peacock blue or something. Anyways, I probably will paint those and yeah. So we have like a little air hockey table down here in this little corner. My husband has like a little workout area, their little TV basketball goal. Anyways, so this is it. This is my art studio and you can kind of see it better now from this view, how it's just real open and big and flows. So anyways, this is where I'm at today and I hope you enjoyed this little impromptu tour. Wasn't planning on doing it, but figured I might as well. And then when I get everything finished, I will be back and show you how it looks at that point. I do have a lot of work to do. I need to get some painting done and different things. So I'll see you guys.